Last year, UNI fans knew that they had scored big when they heard that University of Virginia basketball player Paul Jesperson was going to head back to the Midwest and become a Panther. The Merrill, Wisconsin native was forced to sit out all of last season due to the transfer, but now he's proving to be one of the best competitors on the nationally ranked Panther team. After transferring from the University of Virginia, Paul Jesperson has found a home in Cedar Falls, Iowa. When Paul came on his official visit, he knew that this was a special place and he could help lead the Panthers back to the NCAA tournament. So when I came on my visit, all the coaches, it really felt like you just didn't have one assistant coach. It felt like everybody you could go and talk to at any time. And Coach Jacobson's just a great guy outside of basketball and then even a better coach. So it's a great fit. But just the way they play, you know, um, they, you, they rely on their point guards, obviously, to get in their lane and make things happen, but they're always looking to create and then kick out. Um, I feel like being able to shoot it, I'll be able to add, you know, that, that threat to the team. And then just, it just had that feel. When you find a place that you know is right, it just, it, everything just seems to click and sort of come together, and that's that feeling I got. This six foot six inch junior guard from Merrill, Wisconsin, has helped lead the UNI men's basketball program to new heights this year. He's using his experience from playing at the University of Virginia, where he started in 33 games in the ACC. Pauly, we're getting a couple things. We're getting a guy who played a lot uh, at Virginia, so he's been in some games. You know, he's he's been uh, uh, he's been in some big road games. You know, he's he's played against a high level of competition, and that that experience can help us. And what I asked him was. Uh, I said, Paul, don't, you don't have to wait until you do something good with your teammates and do something good in a Panther uniform. You need to provide some leadership. You've been there already, yeah, so you need to push guys and you need to provide the kind of leadership it takes to move our team forward. Because he's, you know, he's got size and he can score the ball and he, he passes the ball. He, he does things that our team uh, is going to benefit from, but I want some leadership from him. I want him to, to exert himself a little bit because he's got the kind of will that can put you over the hump. Paul is a really good player. And he's also a really good leader. Um, he hasn't really, he didn't play last year, obviously, but he, he's a really good leader, vocal leader on the court. Um, he's always talking, letting people know what they need to be doing at all times. So they can expect a lot of good things from Paul. Paul is also making the most of his playing time this year. Averaging just under 20 minutes per game, Paul is the fifth leading scorer for the Panthers and second on the team in made three pointers. This offensive attack is another addition which has helped you and I become a national power in 2015. He can shoot it. He can shoot it really well from three, shoot it from mid-range, puts it on the ground. He's got a lot of crafty finishes around the basket he likes to do, and can also play better defense than I think most people will realize. He's a really good defender, smart with his angles. He's a shooter, but he can also get to the cup. I mean, he's, he's got a wide variety of, of talents, just like everybody else. Um, he's got a quick first step, so uh, once he gets past the defense, if you see something there, he can pull up or finish at the rim. He's a great shooter, and uh, he, he's not going to let down. Uh, he, he plays good defense. Uh, he fits into the system well, so I think it's going to be a great, uh, he's going to be good for us. Paul is consistently counted on to help finish games for the Panthers. His length, defensive IQ, and versatility has helped him play a part in the nation's fifth-ranked defense. He's uh he can play he can play inside out with him being with him being taller he could maybe post up smaller guards and uh, playing on the outside he can shoot it real well as well. He's a very hard worker. He works hard every single day. Works his rear off every day, all day, and he's someone you can count on. He, he knows when you're when you're playing defense and you need to get a stop. He's one of those guys that hey he's gonna have my back and I'm gonna have his and that's something that uh, is is really special about Paul and um, another thing is his versatility. I mean he can play defense and then offense. He can do a ton of things well. Um, he's tall enough where he can play different positions, he can handle the ball, shoot the ball very well, and um, get to the free throw line, just, just do a lot of, a lot of different things that's going to really help out our team.